Hey people, welcome back to the channel, Take the Bow. I guess you people are doing good. So, yep, today we're going to see a low investment repacking business option. So, repacking is something uh, perhaps a much easier task to perform. In any business, repacking makes the pot control while the goods can be procured in a wholesale and that could be repacked. It makes the person who is involved in between uh, vested with a lot of profit and yeah milk milk related products are all of high uh, in demand across the markets at all time people obviously go for consuming the milk products and the direct milk uh, irrespective of the time factor irrespective of the situation across and it is not feasible to continuously get the supply of the fresh milk at all the time when the entire world is moving towards the uh, process of storing food, the process of uh, getting customized outputs across various food products. So one such in invention which perhaps makes the readily available milk is the milk powder. The milk powder, I guess you people might be aware of it. So and most of them would be already using it and most of them would, would have already used or heard about it it's just the uh, soluble the milk solubles the milk solids are being collected uh, using a separate process of uh, hydrating uh, the milk and then the solids are being collected through a various process which is involved in between so right now let's not dig deeper into the uh, process of making this particular milk powder so all we have to do is just procure them on a wholesale and repack them with a customized branding or with the same branding which we already owe and we can sell it across the market so that that is how the business plan is going to be and it's it's literally like a piece of cake which should be perhaps much easier just to procure them on a wholesale and repack them so the costing part goes like you can purchase a kilogram of milk powder for approximate of 80 rupees per kilogram so that's in the wholesale price i've given the details in the description box where you can procure this particular milk powder for a cost of rupees 800 like 82 rupees so you can use that uh, link provided in the description to get the seller details and these pouches which you are looking at right now in order to repack the milk powder is available for two rupees fifty pies per piece and you know if you are going beyond a certain element and purchasing on a wholesale again the cost goes minimal so this is a machine which is used for sealing the covers as soon as you repack them so all these details about the pouch about the wholesale uh, milk seller and the machines have given the details in the description box you can access the web page where the details would be elaborated along with the briefing about the milk products and the costing part here goes like all together for purchasing and transportation of the milk pro milk powder would cost you somewhere like 100 rupees per kg and the market price for this particular one kilogram which is in the pack packed uh, milk product so is like 400 rupees and approximately we can fix a profit of 150 rupees and that would uh, be calculated depending on the existing market scenario I, I haven't quoted the entire cost as per the market price I'm just trying to quote a little bit less than what is uh, prevailing in the market at present like 150 rupees profit is something viable and your product would be costed somewhere like 300 rupees or approximately 350 or that depends entirely after packing you can cost it accordingly uh, according to the market where you are pitching in so i've just taken an average cost of 150 rupees per kg and target of course you should have a target for any business without a target you wouldn't be able to achieve the success or achieve the uh, vision of that particular business so approximately target has to be 50 kilogram weekly so if you do that that will some be somewhere like 7500 rupees profit for you all together and that makes 30,000 rupees per month 
you can even extend the uh, market extend the supply extend the uh, customer base depending on your capability and depending on the exploration of the market and you can sell them in 10 rupees sashay i guess you people might have seen it most of the familiar brands have started doing it right now now to reach the people at affordable cost rather than going with packaged higher volume packs most not everyone would be uh, able to afford to such a huge cost when it goes to volume volumely high and if it goes for a sachet people will be able to contribute or uh, purchase them regularly uh, though not on a wholesale or or on a uh, altogether bulk purchase they'll try to go with retail purchase and small portions would be bought by them on a regular basis so that's why the 10 rupees sachet is being preferred across and that too in indian markets are filled with cheapest products and people would go for sachet kind of thing rather than going with the entire uh, voluminous boxes and uh, uh, and, and then a huge pack the uh, cartons so you can even pack them as 100 gram 200 gram and 500 gram that depends the market goes like you have to approach the bakery shops bakeries where they use them predominantly the milk powders are being used by them in order to make various recipes and food products and baking stuffs and sweet shops obviously obviously they are the one who use them mostly in order to make so much of milk solid sweets you know so most of the sweets are made from milk and it's not that the fresh milk is directly used from the farm it's it's all about the milk solids being used in them so in that way the milk powder would be a great uh, supply for them and then the grocery shop tea shops again so they they can resell them and tea shops sometimes they might use them as a, a alternate for the regular fresh milk and some people might store them and resell them as well the grocery stores and the supermarkets so yeah i guess i've covered enough of information about this business concept for all you got anything as a doubt or questions or queries please feel free to let me know in the comment section i'll be pleased to help you out with those questions queries i'll be pleased to answer them as well so if you feel any specific concept can be discussed in our channel please let me know as an input i will definitely consider them and i'll present them with my uh, perspective of research and we'll see you soon with another interesting concept and don't forget to like this video subscribe to the channel and as soon as you subscribe please do not forget to click that bell button and for the seller details i've given the web page below you can access it through that so take care bye bye